the Oppenheimer red carpet friendship goals of Emily Blunt and Florence Pug. Pug helped save the day when Blunt's clothing malfunctioned at the London premiere of the Universal Pictures movie. Oppenheimer casts Emily Blunt and Florence Pug as rivals, but in reality, the actresses don't appear like it. Pug had Blunt's back as well as her front when she recently experienced a wardrobe malfunction at the London premiere of the biographical thriller from Universal Pictures. In the movie, Blunt plays Catherine Kitty Oppenheimer, the physicist's wife who worked on the atomic bomb alongside J. Robert Oppenheimer, and Pug plays Jean Tatlock, the doctor and Communist Party member who had an affair with Oppenheimer before he married Kitty, which some people think persisted even after their marriage. Blunt encountered some difficulty at a London photo shoot for the blockbuster when the top button on her shimmering suit reportedly came loose. As journalists shot pictures, Blunt shockedly opened her mouth and covered the spot with her palm. Pug, who was fortunately already by her side, intervened to assist her. She helped Blunt cover himself up while also adjusting the button as the two of them chuckled at the incident. Cillian Murphy, who plays Oppenheimer's title character, as well as Matt Damon, who co-stars as the Manhattan Project's director Leslie Groves, and Robert Downey Jr., who plays Louis Strauss of the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, were all present at the occasion. Blunt has relationships with other Oppenheimer cast members besides Pug. A Quiet Place Part 2, the horror sequel written and directed by Blunt's real-life husband, the office alum John Krasinski, featured the actress and Murphy, who play husband and wife in Oppenheimer. Regarding her friendship with Murphy, Blunt recently gushed to NBC Insider, I adore him as a person, he's a friend, and I previously enjoyed working with him. We rely on one another a great deal. Therefore, when you merely have a vague past with someone, it might lead to freedom in a scenario. It's almost like a secret language, I guess.